how long does this take? That's tip number one. How long does it take? It's going to blur into tip number two because tip number two is make this a project and not a task. How long will it take? My answer is how much time do you have? It's also, it's how complex is your current environment? What do you need to migrate? When does it need to be migrated? What reports do you need to recreate? There's a lot here to peel back. So how long does it take? It takes as long as you need to get it right. I would say on the inside, the short version is plan for a couple of weeks. On the long side, plan for several weeks. And I'm not saying this is a nine to five every, all day, every day. I'm saying that you have another job to do or other tasks to do, and this is not going to be number one. If this is number one, you can probably shorten those timelines. But the only way you can shorten those timelines is through proper planning. Proper planning is going to lead to cleaner execution. Tip number two, this is a project, not a task. If your boss, Susan, walks in and asks if you can get GA4 migrated by Thursday, or get migrated to GA4 by Thursday of this week, respectfully tell Susan she's crazy. Certainly, you can set up a GA4 property in an afternoon, but that doesn't mean you'll get your tags, your events, your goals, and your reports migrated. It means none of that. It means you'll have a GA4 property set up and you can do basic data capture. That's cool, right? But you're missing everything else. And that's why you need a project plan. And I'm not here to give you a project plan today. If you want to look, check our website. We've got some some ideas, that, but I, I read 15 or 20 different migration checklists. So there are plenty of migration checklists and use one that makes sense to you. Everybody's a little bit different. They've all got a lot of the same stuff, but use what makes the most sense to you. And if you run into a wall, like the one behind me, <laughs> uh, feel free to reach out. Happy to help. I'm happy to answer as many questions as I can. I'm also happy to put you in touch with our fabulous team who can answer any question that I cannot. I'm certain of that as well. Number three, inventory, inventory, inventory. You need to decide what to do with your tags, events, goals, and reports. You can't decide that until you've inventoried these to understand what they're doing, what they're for, who owns them or what. So build yourself a spreadsheet with these things and make sense of it. Figure out who put the tag in to begin with. Can I get rid of it? What about these events? What about the goals? What do I need to do with those things in your reports? If you've got customizations in reports, you've got data set up a certain way, or a view set up a certain way to, to show up in your reports, a lot of that is not going to naturally come across. So you need to go and inventory those things too. And then finally on your inventory list, what connections do you need? What connections do you have? Now, a lot of this will show up in tagging, right? Your third-party platforms. But with some of the connectors you have available now in GA4 to other Google products, your life should be made a fair amount easier through all of this. So think about the connections you have and the connections you need. And then as you go through this inventory and your project plan, this isn't, a, this isn't gonna be a tip either. It's just to say, make sure you've got a plan to QA your data set. What data are you seeing today in UA? What day do you need to make sure you see tomorrow and how can you test that? My last tip is what do you want to do with your data? The old stuff, not the new stuff. Do you want to keep it? Where do you want to keep it? Do you want to report on it? Do you just want to have it? So you can export to your heart's content from existing universal analytics. The question is, what do you want to do with that long term? You want to hang on to any of that data? Because you can export reports manually to Excel, CSV, PDF, etc. Or you can use the reporting API to export the data. Or you, if you're a BigQuery customer, that's a, probably a little easier still for you if you're already comfortable with BigQuery. So you need to think about whether or not you want that data. There are some data solutions. In fact, BFO has a data solution. If you want to talk to us, we can export your data for you and we can give it to you in one ginormous file, which you can then report on if you need to. If it's just an insurance policy and that's why you want to keep your data, hang on to it. Put the data in the cloud somewhere, use it if you need it, retire it maybe in a year, but you'll never know when Susan's going to walk in again and say, hey, Steve, can you take a look at 2021 
and our signups for the XYZ event page and also the ebook downloads on the companion page for that and compare it to what we just did for the Hauser event. And you're going to say, uh, if you don't have the data, you can't do it. If you do have the data, you should have a reasonable chance at going in and reporting against it. Now, here's the thing. A lot of this, you export reports and, and views. That's cool. You can export those views of your reports and all the other stuff, and you'll have an inventory of PDFs. If you have the raw data, you can exp you can report on anything you want. It's just learning how to talk to that data and the data will be, it's not going to be, I won't say it'll be overly complex. It's just the data set, but you have to learn how to report on it, which shouldn't be too crazy because you're technical already and you know what you're doing. So I'm not worried about you. All I'm asking is that you think about what you want to do with this data, because if you do need to export all of it and you just decide you want to manually export a bunch of these reports, you're going to be busy <laughs> for quite a bit of time, uh, pointing and clicking and dropping data into CSVs, Excel or PDFs. So you're going to, you're going to have some work there, but if you do want to do a, a data export, again, if you're comfortable using the APIs, you can do that yourself. If you'd like us to help with it, please feel free to reach out. All right, so there it is. Those are my tips of the day for GA4 migration badness. Things to think about, things to consider, things to help you along the path. Remember, number one is how long does it take? <laughs> number two, this is a project and not a task. Number three, inventory, inventory, inventory. Number four, reports. What are you going to do with them? And then finally, data. What are you going to do with it? You've got some questions that you need to answer. And when I say make this a project and not a task, absolutely, you can sit down at your desk and start hammering around a GA4, but unless you have a roadmap, you'll never know when you've reached your destination. So please be build that roadmap and good luck getting there, folks. Good luck getting there. If you needed assistance at all, feel free to reach out. You know where we live. Thanks a, thanks a bunch.